There is no shortage of fast QHD monitors appearing in manufacturers' lineups these days, many of which are among the best gaming monitors that we've reviewed. As the ideal balance of price and performance, it's no wonder that gamers are snapping them up in quantity. The best deals are usually in the 27-inch size, but if you can have the same performance in a 32-inch screen for around the same price, wouldn't you be interested? The Dell S3222 DGM is a close match on specs in many regards to S2722 DGM, which we recently reviewed. The sale prices of the monitors are within $5 of each other, $295 for the former, $300 for the latter. At that price, you get a VA panel, QHD and 165HC with adaptive SIG. While the monitor lacks HDR, it delivers 85% coverage of DCI-P3 in outstanding contrast. With the solid build quality that we've come to expect from Dell along with impressive overall performance, the S3222 DGM represents a tremendous value for gamers shopping in the 32-inch category. Dell S3222 DGM Specifications The Dell S3222 DGM starts with a VA panel. CIPS versus VA panels rated by Dell for 3000. One contrast, my sample measured closer to 4000. One, and that is a difference easily seen in a side-by-side -side comparison. The color gamut is also visibly larger, where the 27-inch hits 75% of DCI-P3 gamut. The 32-incher covers more than 85% which is about average among all the extended color monitors I've tested. As confirmed by my test, video processing comes in the form of FreeSync over 48-165HZ range and G-Sync compatibility. See FreeSync vs G-Sync, though the Dell S3222 DGM has not yet been certified by NVIDIA. In addition to a 3-level overdrive, you get a backlight strobe for blur reduction. You'll also find countdown timers and a frame counter as gaming enhancements. However, there are no aiming points, which might dissuade a few FPS newbies. Dell's now familiar and appreciated clamshell box open to reveal the S3222 DGM securely packed and molded pulp with just enough non-crumbly foam to protect the curved screen. The stand and base mate with a captive bolt, then snap onto the panel. If you'd rather use an aftermarket arm, there's a 100 VS a bolt pattern with the fasteners included. Bundled cables are of higher quality than the norm, with thick wiring and soft flexible insulation. You get HDMI and display port along with an IEC cord for the internal power supply. The S3222 DGM styling could be called understated, but the gaming intent is there. The hexagonal base flares up ahead of the upright's attachment point, creating a slick effect with a few louvers molded in. When the blue LED is on, it glows softly, illuminating only the base in the small area head. You can turn the light off in the OSD if you wish. The panel has an 8th and bezel round the top and sides and a 9 inch strip across the bottom with the Dell logo front and center. The curve looks pronounced in photos but is not that extreme in practice. Though not subtle, it isn't tight enough to cause image distortion. Viewing static photos or text looks about the same as a flat screen. The Dell S3222 DGM is perfectly usable as a worked-in monitor, and you'll appreciate that extra screen area. The 32-inch, 16, 9 monitor is my favorite because it's wide and tall. QHD resolution means the pixel density is 92p, which is enough that you won't see individual pixels unless you sit very close. A monitor this large is best enjoyed from 3 to 4 feet away. The Dell S3222 DGM OSD is identical to the one in the S2722 DGM. However, some image settings are different. I'll explain everything below. To bring out the full menu, press the joystick. The control keys access specific functions, and two of them are programmable. The game menu starts with 12 picture modes. Standard is the default and is reasonably accurate out of the box. For the best possible picture, though, I selected custom color and calibrated the two-point white balance sliders. Unlike with the S2722 DGN, you can improve the image by only selecting custom color. The three game modes also allow calibration and let you create individual combinations of the overdrive and dark stabilizer controls. Dark stabilizer is a gamma tweaker that raises is the black level to make shadow detail more visible. Also in this submenu are the free sync toggle, overdrive, and the game enhance options which include countdown timers and a frame counter. There are no aiming points available. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.